right now, business owners in Chicago are stepping up security and bracing for the next crash and grab. This has been the trend all week long. Vehicles are being used to ram into businesses so that burglars can get inside. The latest happening this morning at Urban Jungle, a vintage sneaker shop in Wicker Park. CBS 2's Noel Brennan spoke to the owner who is left cleaning up that mess. A crew of thieves took vintage clothes and more. They left behind a giant hole and a stolen Jeep. They used it to ram their way inside. It's the sixth time we've seen it happen in the past five days. It's 4.40 a.m. and Urban Jungle is suddenly open to the business of burglars. It was a pretty quick thing. They were in here for about like four or five minutes. The vintage clothing and sneaker store in Wicker Park had a break in last month. But a crash in is a first. That's for sure, not a car, never something like this. The owner can't say he didn't see it coming. I feel like we're almost sitting ducks in a way. Owners of similar clothing and sneaker shops in Chicago can relate. This pretty much happens every season around this time. I'm just like heartbroken right now. I woke up to like seven missed calls. I mean, it's tough to keep reliving the same, same story over and over again. A familiar story all over the map. On Tuesday, it was Endless Supply Sneaker Boutique and the Little Black Dress in River North. On Wednesday, it was Flea Club in Tri Taylor. And Thursday, it was Boneyard Chicago in West Town and Unique Chicago Sneaker Boutique in the South Loop. Five crash and grabs before this one on Saturday. We know that these, these guys are striking at 4 to 5 a.m. We should really boost police presence. The owner says he lost seventy-five to $90,000 in clothes, and there's maybe $30,000 in damage to the shop. But burglars who forced his store open won't force him to close. We're just trying to, you know, have a silver lining to this and put a smile on our face and still do business in the city of Chicago. That was Noel Brennan reporting. The owner of the stolen Jeep told us that his car was taken early this morning. It was parked right outside of his home in Bucktown and used in that cash and grab just minutes later. Crash and grab.